If you've ever wondered how San Antonio has built itself into the city it is today, you don't have to look any further than three architects. He's known as the Texas godfather for modern design. And even if you don't know who O'Neill Ford is, you know the work he's done. He's an architect whose influence can be found on many notable spots in San Antonio. During the Great Depression, Ford helped with many work projects administration developments, including the restoration of La Vieta. He helped enhance the historic Arts Village and designed La Vieta's assembly hall with a purpose, giving it a rounded shape with a covered walkway to hide its massive size. He didn't hide anything about San Antonio's tallest structure, the Tower of the Americas, a beacon of the San Antonio skyline for more than 50 years. In the world of education, his imprint can be seen on the campuses of St. Mary's Hall and UTSA, and most notably at Trinity University. In 1948, he was commissioned to design a new campus located just north of downtown. Land that was once an abandoned rock quarry, Ford made a bold decision not to level it. Instead, he incorporated its unique terrain, creating a picturesque campus that is part of the National Register of Historic Places. But he isn't the only one whose work spans across San Antonio. Atliers also made his mark and is known today as San Antonio's most famous architect. His approach to architecture was influenced by Spanish colonial buildings in Mexico, California, and Florida. It inspired him to give San Antonio its unique look, especially in the city's historic neighborhoods, from Laurel Heights to Monte Vista, Olmos Park to Alamo Heights. More than 200 homes were created and designed by heirs, but his most notable residential work is visited by all regularly the Atkinson McNay House, now known as the McNay Art Museum. Ayer's most recognizable works have stood the test of time, from the Freeman Coliseum to the former San Antonio Municipal Auditorium. The administration building at Randolph Air Force Base has often been compared to the Taj Mahal. And for 94 years, the Tower Life Building has been a part of the San Antonio skyline. Air's neo-Gothic influence and vision for an octagonal-shaped tower gives it a distinguishable look. A look that is seen today in some of San Antonio's most historic neighborhoods, including a home designed by Ayers and built by San Antonio's original house flippers, David and Mae Woodward. The Woodwards flipped more than 20 homes in the San Antonio area. David would build them, his wife, May, would decorate them. In 1904, David Woodward was trying to find the perfect birthday gift for his wife. He came up with an idea on a property in the Alta Vista neighborhood. He built a house on a hill with a great view of downtown San Antonio. Three stories, 9,000 square feet. A home that still stands today for the Women's Club of San Antonio. San Antonio isn't the city it is today without the vision and design from these three men. Ford, Ayers, and Woodward. Names and legacies forever remembered at Mission Park. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.